forward. I had given up writing this book because of people's reactions when I mentioned the commerce game. Most wanted to kill the messenger because their having been so conned by the alleged authorities, their entire lives was too painful to contemplate. Those with neither eyes to see nor ears to hear wanted to argue with me. Many suggested they were aware, yet upon further discussion they admitted to not really knowing. Our mind is of three categories, what we know, what we don't know, and what we don't know, we don't know. Not knowing is unfortunate, not knowing that we don't know is tragic. W. Erhardt. Some actually did know about the fraudulent banking system, and yet felt already defeated. They remain part of the problem by refusing to become part of the solution. The ultimate ignorance is the rejection of something you know nothing about and refuse to investigate. Dr. Wayne Dyer I concluded that, unfortunately, only a few want to hear how to become free, stop identifying with their false beliefs, do what they want to do instead of working for a living, and live in joy which is what we are designed to do. I felt as if I were my own minority group. I truly do want to know that which I don't want to know. Most want security over freedom. As most people identify with their beliefs, giving them up would present the fear. Who would I be? If they were to open their minds, drop their preconceived notions, their psychological prejudices, let go of the concept that their beliefs are who they are, they might become enlightened. Millions of unconscious people are not taking responsibility for their inner peace. Eckhart Tolle Needless to say, suggesting we have been conned into playing an insidious game which is destroying our lives, our futures, our fellowship, our spirituality and our true natures will meet with non-receptive minds. Consequently, in exasperation one night, I resolved that my book would be futile, a waste of my time and energy. I declared I would put my efforts back into developing my energy psychology practice. In the middle of the night I was awakened by a voice saying, Secret oral teachings. I thought, I'll remember, and went back to sleep. Later I heard it again, and then again, upon awakening.